Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I want to talk about a really interesting topic in the world of physical media that's come to my attention lately, and that is grading. Grading VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, grading physical media as a way to kind of increase the value of your collection and possibly use them as a future investment. So I'm gonna talk about that topic here today. Might be a little bit ranty, but first of all, we'll talk about what grading is. We'll talk about what these companies are doing right now. And then I'll end it with kind of talking about what is the viability of a physical media collection as in investment in the future and in my thoughts on that. So first off, what is grading? Now, if you're not familiar with the collectibles market and you're a casual collector or you've only been doing physical media, you may not know what grading means. Grading is probably most popular in the world of sports cards. I have a few examples here from the big three companies in sports cards. It's PSA, BGS, and SGC. Now what these companies do is they encapsulate cards for you. They authenticate them, they put them in a UV protective uh, you know, plastic encapsulation, and they give them a score. You'll see this Bobby Orr card from 1970 has a score of five and a half, and this 1957 Tommy Heinsohn Celtics rookie has a score of a four. And so they grade these cards based on how are the edges, how are the corners, how's the centering, how's the surface, how's the picture quality, the color of the card. All of those things go in here. They authenticate them, they give them a grade, they uh, encapsulate them, and they send them back out to the collectors. Now typically this raises the value of the card because A, it is authenticated, especially some older stuff from 1957 or even before that. I have cards from the 1900s, the 1920s, 30s, 40s. It authenticates them, it gives you peace of mind that the card's authentic, and it also gives you an idea of the quality and the value that that card will create. So this has been very common in sports cards for a long time, and it is a decent way to protect an investment in a sports card collection. And over time, as the card gets older, it's more scarce, they're not making any more of them, less are coming in to be graded. You'll sort of establish that, you know, some of these cards, like this one here, there may only be a thousand of them in the world. And so you know you have one of them, you know it's authentic, and you can kind of grade it on a scale of where yours sits and then value it. So it's a decent way to protect your sports card investment. Now in the past couple of years though, the sports card market has gone insane with grading and people are grading newer cards which are being produced in the hundreds of thousands and you're starting to see 10, 20, 30,000 of the same card being graded by these companies, which really is not gonna increase much value because value all comes back to scarcity and then yeah, sure, the quality of the item, but scarcity first. Now grading has also spread over into comic books. If you're in the comic book world, comic book grading is pretty popular. What condition is the comic book in? How's the color, how are the pages, how are the corners, edges, is it all together? Also authenticates it. And we've seen it come into some other markets. Video games is one that has been fairly popular, mostly for older games and really rare stuff from the very early days of video games, as well as action figures, especially when you're looking at like old original Star Wars figures, G.I. Joe, Barbie, those kind of main uh, collectible lines. Yeah, the grading there authenticates them, gives them a score, and people do collect based on the quality of, you know, how the box is and the original packaging. This is all stuff you've probably seen on shows like Pawn Stars or American Pickers, right? It's all about the quality and the scarcity and the rarity of these things that make them valuable as an investment. So that's sort of a background on grading. It's an authentication service. It's a grading service on the quality of the item and it's become very popular. What's happening now is there's some companies trying to take advantage of this kind of uh, new wave of grading enthusiasts. And it's, it's really been, it started in sports cards, it's gotten bigger into Pokemon cards, it's gone into video games, like I said. It's become this big idea that if you grade anything, it'll increase the value, right? So now these companies have gotten into things like VHS, DVD, Blu-ray, and even new 4K media and they are grading sealed copies of this physical media, encapsulating them, authenticating them, and then giving them a score out of 10. So one of the biggest companies right now is Investment Grading Services. And you know, make your own opinion about them, but if you go to their website, it feels like you've been transported about 25 years into the past. The website is very wonky. It has really terrible art and graphic design. It screams spam. It screams, this is not legit. This is you know, not a real thing yet. This is not a legitimate business. 
and they've been pushing really hard, especially on the VHS side of things, for people to grade their VHS copies. Now, this came to my attention because I saw some Instagram posts and some Reddit posts about sealed copies of Home Alone on VHS, which were graded, you know, at a score of an eight or a nine, they're sealed copies, and they were put up on eBay by this company selling, or I shouldn't say selling, listed for $130, $150. And then what that started to do was saw other collectors take their sealed copies, which were not graded, and try to sell them for 30 or $40 by promising, well, if you grade it, it can be worth 150. So the issue with all of this comes back to, is physical media really a collectible item that holds future value and could be viewed as an investment like sports cards or even like comic books or rare video games? And 99.9999% of the time, the answer is going to be no. In no way is a Home Alone sealed VHS tape worth $150. I don't care if it's in perfect condition because tens of millions of those were printed in the 90s. Tens of millions. The best-selling VHS tape of all time was Lion King. 32 million copies sold. So if you have a Lion King Disney VHS that you think is rare and collectible, and this has come up in the past where you'll see people say, those Disney clamshells are worth a lot of money. They're worth hundreds of dollars. 32 million of them were printed. So in the 90s, if you think about like, what's the population of the US? I mean, it's like one out of every eight people in the US had a copy of Lion King on VHS. That is not a rare item, that is not worth money, and it's not a future investment. The other crazy thing is, most of these VHS tapes, you know, you can find for a buck or two at a thrift store, and maybe you could pick them up for $5 if they were sealed. Now, this company, in particular, Investment Grading Services, they're charging $65 to grade your VHS tape. So, in what world is that realistic pricing, first of all? $65 to grade a tape which yeah, then I, I sure would want to sell it for $100 plus because I just spent $65 for you to put it in a plastic case and grade it for me. But it just makes no sense because the Home Alone tape is not scarce. Now, the only way I could see this is with some really rare VHS tapes, which are out there. There are VHS tapes that are worth hundreds of dollars, but that's because they are scarce. They are very rare. They're usually cult horror titles or really odd offbeat type movies that or even like TV shows or instructional videos that just never got a big print run. There might only be, you know, a couple hundred of them that made it out there and survived and didn't end up in the trash bin. And so, you know, yeah, those those could be collectible, but at the same time, what is establishing their value is the scarcity and it's not the grading, right? The grading is not gonna increase the value of that, it's the scarcity. And you grading a VHS tape, I don't think really matters for a collector, what are the chances that people are faking VHS tapes right now? Very low, much harder to fake than a sports card or a comic book, right, that are just printed on paper. And what are the chances, you know, how, how do you determine how great the quality of the, the plastic seal is on the VHS tape? And what if the tape inside is completely moldy but you can't look because it's sealed? It just makes no sense for grading where you can't even see the whole package. So I would really advise completely against grading any of your physical media, especially as it gets into DVD, Blu-ray, 4K. I mean, who in their right mind would pay $65 to grade a 4K movie right now? They're still being printed. I could buy them off of Amazon for $10 sealed. On the Investment Grading Services website, they have the Pirates of the Caribbean Blu-ray as one of their examples of what you can grade. Do you know how many of those were probably printed? Like, again, hundreds of thousands, if not millions. It's a very popular movie series. So I'm bringing this up because I really would just hate to see any of this get traction in the physical media collector community. I think it's a, a death sentence for physical media. We don't want to grade our copies. We don't want them in plastic cases where you can't watch them. They're not just a sports card, which yeah, is basically a, you know, a piece of art. Granted, those are still just photos printed on cardboard, right? But at least there's some rarity, some scarcity to those cards, the older ones at least. Newer ones, print runs are huge. People are grading them in the hundreds of thousands and they're not holding their value. So physical media as an asset, as an investment is never the way you should be approaching this. Um, even look at steelbooks, right? Like the Guardians of the Galaxy Best Buy steelbook that came out eight years ago now. When I bought it, 
you could sell that on eBay for $150. It was rare, it was scarce. Well, guess what? A 4K version came out and nobody wanted the Blu-ray Steelbook anymore. Now you can probably get it for 20 or 30 bucks. Does it hold a little bit of value? Yes, but it doesn't hold long-term future value, especially when they reprint them and sell more of them. And new formats are coming out every single year. Do not view your collection in that way. Your collection is for you to enjoy, it's for you to watch, it's for you to put on your shelf and be able to touch and feel that physical media. And putting it inside a plastic acrylic case just completely defeats the purpose of all of that. Again, the only disclaimer is if you have like one of a hundred copies of this super rare horror cult B-movie VHS tape that you know, never made it mainstream, never made it to DVD or Blu-ray or has some really unique artwork. Sure, I could see you holding on to that as a collectible because it does have a market. But again, that's like the 0.00001% of all physical media. So please do not be sending your Home Alone or Lion King VHS tapes or your new 4K release of Avengers Endgame because, oh, that could be collectible in the future. That's a really big name title. Guess what? They printed millions of them. It's not valuable. You can buy it for 10 bucks sealed right now in almost any store. It doesn't hold value. Don't do it. Don't grade it. Keep it on your shelf. Enjoy your collection. Don't worry about it as an investment. It is not an investment. It's you're building a library. You're building an archive. You're building something you love, right? Don't go crazy spending $65 and sending them to this scam company so they can grade your 4K or your VHS or your DVDs. It makes no sense at all and I'd hate to see you all lose money. And I would hate to see that happen to the physical media market. So that's it. That's my rant on these grading services for physical media. Um, bottom line, it makes zero sense almost all of the time to do this. So again, I just I would hate to see anybody get burnt. I don't wanna see this happen to the physical media market. The fact that sealed VHS tapes are, are of movies like Home Alone are already on eBay for 30 or $40, and some suckers out there are buying those and thinking it's a good investment because they saw a graded copy for 150. It's all a scam. It's not a real investment, it's total speculation. And again, think about, when you think about what an investment is, if you want to invest in physical goods, right? Think about what's rare. There's artwork, there's certainly some rare, valuable sports cards. Comic books are absolutely rare. Some of the rare video games could be worth something. Some rare action figures will definitely hold their value over time for collectors. But if it's not rare, then it's not worth any money. And physical media is not rare. If I start seeing Blu-ray copies that are sealed and graded as a 10, showing up on eBay for hundreds of dollars, um, I'm just gonna probably lose my mind, so let's not go there. So that's it, I'd love to hear your comments, but I have a feeling as collectors, um, and if you're into any other collection, you know, comic books, sports cards, you've seen what overgrading and over speculation can, can do to those markets too. I've certainly seen it. So I think if you're in the same boat as me and basically you don't work for one of these grading companies, you'll probably agree with me on this, but I'd love to hear y'all thoughts in the, in the comments on you know grading media like this and physical media as a future investment. I'm not here to give financial advice. You know, Don't listen to me. I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't be your financial advisor and tell you what to do with your investments, but just Imagine a DVD is not going to get you into, you know, a better retirement home in 30 years. It's just not going to hold its value. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you follow me on social media, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. All the links down in the description. And make sure you're subscribed and like this video so uh, I, we can spread the word. I want to spread the word about this because I'm being negative on it. I want to spread the word and kill it before it gets started. So hopefully it doesn't have, it's not the Streisand effect and it does the opposite and gives it more attention. But let's kill this thing before it gets started because it's a really dumb idea. So like the video, let others see it and spread that word out there about why this doesn't work. But other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe out there and healthy and I will talk to you soon.